happening everybody peace 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 turn your turn your cameras on let me see some beautiful faces up in this joint today how y'all doing how y'all doing how y'all doing uh i am delighted to see the family i see some hawaii in here please drop in the chat team zodiac team city and state human design if you know it how you know me drop some drop some details in here so i can give you a shout out what up what up what up it's a lot of folks ain't here and guess what we ain't got nothing to do with that <laughs> all we're concerned about today is who is in the building you can see my eyes is moving from left to right because i got a lot going on i want to give y'all some updates and some details in the building and um keep y'all tapped in to the zoom in uh first off i want to tell everybody that we are, we are, 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 are. Today's a donation base. Voila. Today we take in donations. All right. A lot of times people be like, oh, ye, this and that, da, 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 da. that's all good. But all I want to say is today we are taking donations. So please, 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 you can slide on over to this website right now later in the replay drop a little something in the bucket okay am i wrong for asking them to drop a little something in the bucket you know that's all i want you drop a little something in the bucket please uh let me put that in the chat team aquarius is in the building i know that's hawaii i see team taurus in toronto that gotta be misha gritty mitten in detroit manny gen 62 fire squad sag in the house and I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna just jump right into it. Um, I wanted to drop over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to drop this up in the joint as well. All right. We in a couple places over here. All right. I'm doing a little something on YouTube. Doing a little something on my uh, webinar. And I want to know, like, first off, like, thank you all. If some of you like do not know uh, like how this class came about, if you go over to Unlock Your Blueprint on the Cosmic Jedi, that's most of the dope, dope people that are in the room. And they either took one or all of the classes. Um, and I'm just excited about being able to just like, it was uh Laura asked me, she said, Oh yeah, what's up? We need a we need a redo. Not necessarily a redo, but just a update. And so we had love, abundance, 20, 2024 predictions and strategy, wisdom, and all of it was around the cosmic laws. You can get any one of those classes for eighty-eight dollars right now, or you can get all four of them for two ninety-seven. All right. Um, so thank you team for coming together, still being with me. The I Ching Masterclass is going to be in two weeks. I got to get this done. I do got to get done before my birthday, so it will be in the month of April. I do not know the exact date, but I think it's going to be on a Saturday, so it'll be like Sunday morning for me. But no, it's a it's a two day class, so it'll be either Friday or Saturday, or Saturday and Sunday, something like that. Probably Saturday and Sunday. So this is a two day class. Learn I Ching divination. Um, the Qigongs are going to come with it. This one is going to be bananas. Um, I can take questions about this later on, but right now let's get to the, let's, let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Um, oh, I didn't mean to stop sharing yet. Oh, let me get my shouts out. Turn them cameras on, turn them cameras on. Team Sad, Jacksonville, Florida, Team Aries, Taurus, right, Taurus rising in the building. Virgo is in the house, 2-4 generator, sacred number group from Maryland, team Libra in Charlotte, 2-4 manifester, business by design in the house, team Scorpio, Washington, D.C. I, 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 I. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to start with, I've got to go, I, I do have to go back over here because a lot of what I learned and have experiences from this brother right here. Dr. Mitchell Gibson, if you've ever been to uh, Tybro.com, which I highly suggest, I call this my spiritual arms dealer. 
Um, you can just go over here, bam, click on picture gift. You're gonna have all, I, and I took this picture too. I'm so happy that he uses my stuff. So this is, uh, this is one of my illustrious master teachers. And um, I'm just gonna read what he posted on Instagram and then I'm going to get into it. Eclipses are potentially dangerous metaphysical occurrences. There are numbers of events that occur during total eclipses that scientists cannot completely explain. Seconds before an eclipse reaches totality, wavy stripes of light and dark might appear in a, on solid color surfaces. It's like being at the bottom of a swimming pool. These shadow bands are a bit of scientific mystery. Astronomers still don't know exactly what causes them or why they only sometimes appear. Some scientists hypothesize that the bands were uh, maybe a manifestation of the rippling distortions of Earth's atmosphere. But whatever they are, they've been well documented. Records of them back date as far back as the ninth century, according to NASA. As an eclipse passes overhead, most eyes will be glued to the sky. Listen right here. Just like halftime at a Super Bowl, open for programming. But take a moment to look at the ground. The shadows made by trees and other objects that cause a pinhole effect may be dappled with tiny crescents. During the peak of an annual eclipse, you'll see little rings of light everywhere. These eclipse shadows also occur during partial eclipses, and the effect can be quite beautiful. Both total and annular eclipses mess with certain radio wave frequencies, and nobody is quite sure why. Think of a Mercury retrograde on steroids times a million. Scientists suspect that it might have something to do with the way the Earth interacts with Earth's ionosphere, which is known to fluctuate in response to things like solar flares and solar storms. On October the 14th and April the 8th, 2024, citizen scientists and ham radio enthusiasts across North America will be poised to collect more data on how eclipses scramble these transmissions. Um, he has other information on his Instagram about it. Uh, animals become confused, weather changes, radio waves warp and shift, as well as host of other unnatural, unusual things that defy explanation, proudly believe that dark entities open doorways into earth during this time. In ancient times, many people took special spiritual precautions during this time. During the last great eclipse a few years ago, we advised our followers to do the same. The eclipse on April the 8th, 2024, will introduce, a powerful, introduce powerful forces into this world that you need to know about. You need to know how to protect yourself and your loved ones the eclipse on April 8, 24 opens the door. You need to know what is coming in. Now, I did see this too. Let me see. I found a video. I think I sent it to you, Chaz. And um, I'm pretty sure I did. So let me see. Can I find it? But they're doing something. CERN is also um, doing something on the same day. And if you're not um, familiar with what CERN is, CERN is a hydrogen collider that runs around five countries in Europe, okay? And they're supposed to be like just colliding atoms together to research and see how, um, how the universe was formed, right? That's what they said. So, it's very interesting how then I seen this I seen this video. Let's just hope I send it to Chaz. I, if I if I send it to one of you and you know what I'm talking about, you can drop it in the chat, and then that'll just make it go faster. Why in the oh? Um, but it's talking about these people know of a portal that's opening, and ah. Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Is it in here? Yeah, I'm not going to, we're not going to spend too much time on it if I can't find it. But what I do is go over here. I'm sure it's on YouTube too, but CERN portals, eclipse. This is how you search for stuff. A CERN opening portal during the eclipse. Somebody on TikTok already got 10 million views. So I'm sure 
Um, is this is not hard to find now? Of course, I don't know whether it is like coming directly from a CERN person, but you can see that a lot of folks are talking about it, right? So just yeah, recreating the Big Bang during the solar eclipse. Tons of information over here about CERN. Yes, I'm a retired and um, enthusiast, but yeah, I'm going to uh, just let y'all just go over here. Which one has the most views? Let's just do this warning. I wanted to get right to it. I ain't got time to do all that. Y'all can go back and do the research. I just showed you kind of like where it's at. Let's get over here to my to my face. All right. If the feds were looking for you, what would you do? If you had a warrant out for your arrest and you knew you were innocent, what would you do? lay low you would lay low you wouldn't be available you wouldn't be available for somebody to um be in contact with you right you would be out of the mix so some of this may be brand new to you but as a sorcerer who studies other sorcerers who has masters that are sorcerers who study other sorcerers i'm gonna give it to you the lowdown there are immortals on this planet that are hundreds of thousands of years old and millions of years old. Some of them are real cool. Some of them ain't, all right? Some of them want to do you harm. And not harm, really. You know, I, sh I should say, uh, I should say they want to harvest your human energy. So you got your spiritual energy, your human energy. If they keep you reincarnating here, they ju you just a slave inside the matrix. And what they're doing is harvesting your energy. They can harvest your energy in your sleep and your dream state if you got too much pent up sexual energy. They do that here in Bali because a lot of women say, I'm, I'm celibate, I'm abstinent. And then they come over here and they do a yoga retreat and there's 30 women in one space and ain't nobody has sex in like six months or a year or two years or whatever, they call themselves healing. And you got all this sexual energy in there that is attracting entities to come and harvest, right? There are some not so cool people in the spiritual community all over the world, but definitely in America, who will jump into your dream and sexually violate you because you got this excess of um you got this excess of what do i want to um you got this excess of sexual energy right then so what are you doing do you know how to protect yourself this is why i said um dr gibson i call him the um What's my thing? Oh, yeah. I call him my, I call him, he's a, he's, he's, he's the spiritual um, arms dealer because you got to protect yourself. So out here in these streets, one of the books is knowledge, defense against the dark arts. So everything I'm explaining to you now kind of comes from this book and just years of experience. Okay. So you, uh, defense against the dark arts, um, you can catch 300 is worth a thousand, two or 3000. You can catch it on sale for 40% off, like almost every weekend, but you need to have this in your arsenal. There's an ebook. If you want it right now, if you want to get a hard copy, but understanding the dark arts that are out here is very important to know. So you can link it to what I'm saying. Um, if I had some, I do have some protection from this site. <laughs> One of the things I have are some of these medallions. Um, 
one of my the Jade Emperor is a good one for this situation. The AOS 10 is a good one for this situation. The Angel of Sanctification, Solar Talisman is a good one for this situation. The Archangel Michael uh is a good one. This is the AOS 8. That's a good one. The demonium is good. The Lord Ganesha is good. The miracle prayer is good. The generators are good. Um, the first Jade Emperor is good. And of course, one of my all-time favorites, the uh, Michael Demiurge medallion is good as well. Um, the, this, the, the Barakiel does have a degree of protection, but it's designed for fortune. But all of these do provide a degree of protection. So as I say, get strapped up. Um, he has lots of other things on here for protection. You could just type in protection and you're going to get all types of all types of things, right? That's on the fourth page of protection, right? So go on the site, type in protection. It doesn't even have to be up under medallions. It could be up under everything, all right? So let me get back to... These entities, these entities were here long before you. You choose to die at an early age. You choose to die at an early age because you've accepted it just like the common cold. You don't study immortality, so you can't be an immortal. I think it's like one out of three people are born like with an immortal gene inside. Just like you got a sickle cell or a cancer cell inside of you, you could have the immortal cell inside of you. But if you don't develop it, it ain't gonna come into fruition. This is what the ancient um, Asians and Africans already knew, right? Um, because our life here on planet Earth, we are a seed planet from other entities. If it just went over your head, it's okay to just go on out right now. But this is, this is where we're going. Thank Laura for this. She was just like, tell us more. So um, we were seen here on this planet and um, we were divine beings at one time that lived for a really long time and then it went left and collectively things started happening and now we ended up where we are right now, squabbling over gender roles and women submitting and what a man should do and little crazy stuff like that and cancer and, and nobody really... People are fascinated if you live over 100 years old. But what if you was to meet Babaji and Babaji is 3,500 or 5,000 years old? What would you do if you met somebody who had an IQ of 2,000 or 10,000 or 100,000? They exist, they exist here. Shapeshifters exist here. Dragons exist on this realm. Fairies exist on this realm. And it's coming to, it's going to be coming out more and more and more. But in this eclipse, think of it like a Super Bowl. And everybody's got their attention focused on the halftime show. And when you got your conscious mind, unconscious mind, and subconscious mind in one place, all of your energy is going to where your attention is going. And you ain't paying attention. You think everything is safe. You're naive. You're gullible. You are prime for the picking. Just because you just showed up and was just like, Oh, they're selling Eclipse glasses. They told me don't look at it unless I made this device or I look at it on TV. That's a ritual. You get four people doing the same. We in a ritual now. And I ain't even lit a candle, say no prayer over no water or nothing. Wait a minute. I ain't even said prayer yet. Pause. Let's take a nice big inhale. Slow exhale out the mouth. I do a cool tie for the time. Well, I'll buy some. I'm a fair thing. She love Bloom. We are in the love of all, and all love is in us. We are a part of all, and all is a part of us. We are one with all, and all is one with us. We can succeed as a part of all and fail as an individual. We can be all that we wish in all as long as our wish is to stay in all. We are never alone. All is, we are. All can, we can. All does, we do. It's dungeon. Which means salvation to us all. All right. So now we have set a container with the people that are here. I got 19 people in one place. I got 22 people watching in another place. Right. So we have a container. I have on some protection. 
I'm holding protection space for this particular container at the time. I have things in this room that also help protect me um, because a lot of a, a lot of black and light magic goes on everywhere. And in Bali, is no exception. It's higher over here and it's more fun for me. You know what I'm saying? I love being in a situation where there's magic going on all the time and I know what's going on. So this portal that's going to be open with everybody giving their intention and attention that's going to be causing tension at it, you going to be sitting there just like, Oh, especially if you don't even know what you're there for. You're just witnessing it. What you just looking at it for? You just wide open. Look how he's shaking his head. He's just like, hey, Rashid is like, you just up there just, huh, I just want to watch it because everybody's watching. And I had my shades on and I saw a picture of all the heads this way. That's the sheep. That's the sheep getting ready to get led over there to harvest and slaughter. I'm trying to be the shepherd to be like, let's stay inside. The feds is watching. Some of you don't have no criminal record. You ain't got no criminal friends except me. I'm a former criminal. So I know when the feds is looking, I'm about to disappear, right? If you got a crazy baby mama, crazy baby daddy, you need to disappear. You know what I'm saying? Warrants is out for you. You want to disappear. But if somebody want to harvest your energy and use it for nefarious ways, and they ain't even putting you up on the game, guess what? You getting ready to get jerked. So the day before, the day of, and the day after, lay low. So they setting up their little shrine. They setting up their portals the day before, a couple of days before. They already on it now. It's the third. They know they got five days, four days before. They already setting up right now. So are we. That's why it's good that we got teamwork makes a dream work. And Laura was like, can you talk about this? I thought I had talked about this enough every year that everybody already knew. But guess what? You might be new to the family. So if you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, what are these entities doing? They are not using your energy for the benefit of you and love and light. You're getting harvested, dog. And they leave and maybe even leaving a tracker in you, planting something in you to make you do dark, crazy stuff. Watch the people who go to the eclipse. Tell them peace, I'm good. Don't take the invitation. Some of you swear you so magical. Well, oh yeah, can I do this? What about at my altar? What about anything you're doing at your altar is a ritual? So they doing a ritual and they hundreds of thousands, millions of years old using dark magic. You just got started with candles at an altar last year, two years ago. You ain't been initiated in nothing. And now you want to go out and think you can stand up to these cats. As a martial artist, the first rule is avoid rather than harm. Or if you can't beat them, run from them. I can't hurt them, so I'm going to run from them. I'm going to lay low. I ain't scared of them, but I also ain't gonna interact. I've taken years to amass the protection that I have around me and my and my family. Like so now who I stay with, I wanna shield all this around the house I was living in Bali. So am I putting out ancestor offerings? No. Am I uh lighting any candles? No. Meditating? Yep. And that's about the extent of it. I'm not going to the water. I'm not going to the water temple here in Bali that I love to go to. Uh, anything else you want to ask me, I'm probably not doing it. Why do you think they have council school on eclipse days? Kelly asked. <laughs> because like a full moon is like very similar. A full moon is like. Um. You see people, the, the energy is heightened. But if you're undisciplined and your nervous system is looking crazy, you ain't took no classes with Sifu Oyi, what do you think is going to happen? You a target. You a target. And they're going to pick you off. That's why I, when they be talking about the 144,000, I want to be in that number when the saints come marching in. You the saints. 
we in the minority, just like 1% of the world controls 99% of the wealth. It's 1% of these dark forces that's controlling all the darkness that's going on. And it's the small force of light beings. We shout out to anybody that's watching us in the order of the red dragon. There are esoteric orders that are out here, just like Luke Skywalker and Yoda and Morpheus. What do you think these fictional movies was based upon? They was based off of facts, right? You just don't know about them because you haven't decided that you want to um, dive deeper. I advise that you start diving deeper, right? Um, I advise that you catch one of these uh, classes that I did in September on the Unlock Your Blueprint page. Um, why? Because the more you know, the more you grow. But and proper planning prevents piss poor plan. Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. So why would you want to not be prepared for somebody coming through during a regular? It's that it's eclipse season. They can just kick back. They only need to do like four four rituals, six six rituals a year. They good. They let. They let you just go ahead and do the, your rituals, you know, for the for the rest of the year. What rituals say? Meditating, being quiet. That's it. I don't 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 put yourself in harm's way. If you know more than me or as much as me, and you still feel confident, then go ahead. Don't invite me though. Then you can find out. I know a lot of people be like, well, you know, my cousin did such and such. And my, I know Tony, he went over there. Ain't nothing happened to him. You don't know what's going on with Tony um, in his private life or in his spiritual life. So I personally, um, <laughs> I, I personally want you to stay safe. Now, Dr. Gibson is having a master class. It's $500. If you can take that, he give you more detail and go way, way, way in, go right ahead. I'm very thankful that I've already dropped in for years and got myself, you know, um, with my protection. So um, I do want to remind folks, if you got questions, you can come off mute. But I do want to remind folks today that this is a donation based um, presentation today. Um, I have to stand in integrity. I am a Sangoma, and I cannot break the rules no more. When you're talking to a Sangoma, the Sangoma is a bridge between you and ancient ancestors, not just my ancient ancestors, all ancient ancestors. And you have to put a gold coin on the altar. So the gold coin, you can place it here via um, via the donation, you want to do 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. You want to put a couple of hundreds in there. You can do whatever you want. You ain't seen me in a while. And you was like, yo, I really want to bless OE up. You can always come to this page and drop it on here. If you got questions and you need to go a little further, you can just click that button right there. Drop your name, email, send me a message. And I'll get back to you within 24 hours. All right. So um, who got comments? Who got questions? Um, who's good? Who's who's okay? How was this for you? Laura, you can start it off because you don't want to initiate this. How was this for you? Was this information useful? And anybody else, you can either come off the come off mute or you can put it in the chat. Oh. Well, oh thank you so much for your time. I know you were in Raleigh, and so even getting this group together and you're on empty, which is great to try that out too so you know just doing a recap of where we are and i know you posted it so it helped me look and do a quick review and this is a great time to do that so i am grateful um because while i cannot afford dr gibson yet you are my next best thing as to you know how to uplift our collective how to get through these times these times are very crazy i am feeling the energy um you know only two three years into this experience for me so there's a lot of uncertainty but a lot of peace and growth too so 
So I thank you. And my question was like, was it exactly that? Is it, I think Lee had thought about doing my I Ching and I was like, mm, it don't feel right. I'm not, not going to get the right answer. So it's just a reconfirmation of what I was already feeling was just to wait till this energy just goes and passes and just lay low. And my other, so thank you for affirming that. My other question was, should we take the secondary offerings off our altar or? Oh, no, nah, whatever, whatever you already have on your altar, you can leave it on there. And I wanted to, uh, you, you, you triggered me to remember something. Eclipse means to cut off. So think of the trash truck coming outside. Some shit in your life, mm -hmm. shit, <laughs> feces, something that's not serving you, it may be taken away from you. Be thankful. Mm -hmm. Don't try to be right. like, wait, 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 wait. No, you already been doing the work. Something that you don't mm -hmm. need around you, you may not even know you don't need around you. Let the eclipse mm -hmm. come and clip it off, right? Whether it's a friend, a person, a job. So now it can be a clearer space. Cause they're coming through wiping the house. We never seen CERN say we're gonna kick up on the same day, which I feel is totally ludicrous. Watch out for like if TikTok or Facebook or something big goes like don't work, where you just be like, man, it's not working today. What happened? You know, they always go into a panic about that. But the frequencies <laughs> coming through the sun are real deal holding field. So um you don't need to be like. I want to do a banishing ritual. Think about it as a banishing ritual being done on your behalf. <laughs> it's already being mm. done on your behalf. So what you've been putting on your altar already right now, I probably be like today and tomorrow will be my last two days messing with the altar. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put a candle on it. I want my candles to be going out because what they're doing is they, um, they hijacking your frequency. So if you're doing some type of ritual, they jumping in on that ritual. So even if you're doing some small tea light candle on the incense, you are attracting them and they come in and being like, oh, let me let me jump in there and get some of that. Let me go in there and put my energy in there. Let me weave that into my darkness. Avoid, avoid rather than getting hurt. Don't try to fight it. It's only three days. It'd be crazy how people be like, well, what, am, what am I going to do? It's like, bro, you wasn't doing <laughs> He wasn't doing rituals every day like that, no way. So stop. Uh, I just took off, honestly. I just took off because I just I need to rest anyway. So yes. I'm a little bit over a half a tank for myself. So there's the other two questions that I had was uh, oh, I just missed one. Um, so in the blueprint, we know how we did our personal year, right? And we are in the gathering stage phase not stage phase am i or did we move forward from that and the big um and i might see the moon magic so i might be going over too many things already no 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 no. It's i don't okay. know if this was in the blueprint but you know what i'm talking about yes, yes 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 okay so and and before i forget can you comment on the green comment thing because there, there's just so much stuff on social media that i get bombarded with and honestly i've turned off my youtube because i can't sift through all the nonsense that's coming I, through. I don't know about And the, I don't want to give us I don't know about the green comment, but it's so what? much stuff coming. It's so much stuff. Listen, I'm focused on me. That's one of the best defenses. Right. Is, okay, good. Because I said, look, I, I, I can't. Right, right, right. There's too much going on. So in the um in the cosmic clarity, like this class is she's referring to like the uh, your yearly your, your uh personality three sixty five um we are in the seeing phase until may the until may the 5th all right we're in the seeing phase till may the 5th and today the moon is the planning phase so we're in the beginning yesterday was the first day of um of a new lunar cycle so i guess this is a big shout out for my course I'm sick and tired of these Instagram folks and YouTubers telling you that the new moon is the beginning of the moon cycle, and that's when you should start uh, planning new goals. You are seven days late. Everybody that's taking my classes and already knows, they already got a jump on you. So the new moon is actually the third phase of the month, 
and the full moon is actually the seventh phase of the month. There are eight phases of the month, and we call them the eight behaviors. All right. You have eight main strange flows flowing through your body. There's eight gua in the bagua, eight hexagrams. There's, there's so many. The, the number eight is infinity. There's eight phases of the day, eight phases of the month, eight phases of the year. Um, yeah, people got the moon phases all screwed up. And because you only think it's just two phases, it's more than just two phases. All right. So if you're interested in learning moon magic, which I hope you are, um, you can go and uh, go over to the, um, the Unlock Your Blueprint, grab that Cosmic Clarity. Also, I have an announcement. I'm doing a 30 days to Moon Magic 28 and microdosing in the month of May. So I'm putting the moon magic and microdosing together for the whole month. It's a 30 day program. It is 500 bucks. It's a thousand bucks if you want to get a reading before it starts. If you need to make some payment arrangements, just holler at me. We'll set that up. Um, I'm just looking for 10 or 20 people who really want to go deep in the month of May with me, my birthday month. I'm going to be doing one in June and July. So I already have 30 days to moon magic and microdosing. I'm going to do 30 days to spiritual hygiene and microdosing. And I'm also going to do 30 days to losing weight by healing your nervous, healing your nervous system and microdosing. So it's going to be three day, three months. And today's the official announcement. Right. And so we're just going to spend 30 days together. We're going to meet twice a week. You'll be receiving a prompt from me every day, maybe twice a day on which way to go. Uh, me and Perk, Chaz and Aurora, the team, we planning this thing out. It's going to be pure epic. All right. Mm -hmm. um, because I want to start like really being more in contact mm -hmm. with folks. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been off the scene for a minute. Also, I want uh, I'm having a healing sanctuary in October, two of them. And there's one in October and there's one in February. The one in October is going to be 10 to 14 days here in Bali. And I want you to, all my healing sanctuaries are going to have a month pre-integration and a month post-integration. So you're not just going to show up in Bali and just be smiling at everybody. You're going to be surprised at who's there. You're going to know who's coming because you're already going to be in a container. So the, the healing sanctuary, because we're not retreating from anybody anymore, the healing sanctuary will be um, a 90 day container. So it'll be pre container for pre sanctuary. It'll be the sanctuary and then it'll be a post container because I want you to be able to network together. We will be talking about money. October is a Scorpio Taurus affair. For that one, you got to have a planet in Taurus in your chart. So you got to have sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter in Taurus in order to come. If you don't have that, you can't come. OK, because too many people out here don't want to talk about money. But we Scorpios and Tauruses, we want to get together the two dopest signs in the Zodiac and talk about our stuff. It's going to be human design. I also have the plug on all of the Balinese healers. Um, if there's anybody that wants to also do a retreat or sanctuary here on the island of Bali, I'm also going, I'm creating a um, facilitation concierge service here in Bali. I want to help 20 people come do healing sanctuaries over here. Ms. Denise, Dr. Denise, your ass. Everybody, Rochelle, I want to do, still want to do something in Hawaii, Laura, like Dr. Madeline, you got a following. I'm talking about five people in the sanctuary. Come over here, 8, 10, 14 days, right? And let's get you set up. Let me help you pick the right day. Let me help you get your right itinerary so you can experience the island. I'm so tired of tourists coming over here, having tourist experiences and missing the whole point of how the island of the gods is so amazing. There's a lady who uses the herbs that grows in her yard 
that's been passed down at least six generations. She five minutes from me. She like, I cure anything. Cancer, arthritis, syphilis. She don't give a damn. Sickle cell. She, I ain't know she, she's five minutes on the scooter. It's a 30 minute walk. It's healers all over the place. So um, one of the sanctuaries I want to do is for healers and where you would come in and be taught by her for seven days. I don't know when that was going to be, but I want it to be where it's like um, a 14 day sanctuary, but seven of the days we go to her for class from nine to 12 every day. She's going to do a scan on you. She's going to do a reading on you. You're going to get palm readings. You're going to get all type of stuff that they say is spooky in the States, but over here is just regular every day. It's just every, and then you get, they, they give you these on your arm every time you like be with a priest. These are like for protection. I love it over here. It's just like if I stayed in New Orleans on steroids. So, um, yes, somebody said just Taurus or Scorpio. No, you have to have a planet in Taurus or Scorpio. So if there's an exception, you can just holler at me and we can see. Everybody will be getting interviewed. You won't be able just to go to the site and pay. It ain't like that. It ain't that type of party. I'm only doing exclusive stuff for La Familia members. Um, I hope that drops it on deck for those who are listening. Who's got questions? Because I got to get out of here in two Coach, three minutes. Coach, I got a question. Come on, talk Peace to, to you. So uh, I know that, uh, um, you know, right now is the season of Ramadan, and there's a lot of fasting going on right now, you know, people are fasting and stuff. Um, so, you know, with that and the, uh, uh, the eclipse, that's a ritual. It's a ritual, right? Well, no, nah, you're just fasting. Okay. You're fasting. Okay. It's okay. You really look, okay. you fasting from doing ritual. Um. You fasting from doing ritual. Lay low. Mm. Your body's nice. Ah, and, ah. Your body's nice and clean. You know what I'm saying? You're going through your regular yeah. pattern. You're breaking fast at the end of the day. That's mm. like a new intermittent. Ramadan is, is just an advanced form of intermittent fasting. Right, right. Yeah, that's it. That's how I look at it. They've been doing intermittent <laughs> fasting. People who don't want to practice mm. Islam want to say, oh, it's intermittent fasting. I nigga, you just practicing Ramadan year yeah. round. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out, you know what I'm saying? And yes, it does yep. sound like a revival at the Bali sanctuary. That's what I'm just that, that's what I am designing. So um yeah. yeah, you're all invited because if you're here right now and you're watching and rocking with me, you're invited. If you need more details, all you gotta do is go over to the website and uh drop a link, you know what I'm saying, in the joint, say, yo, what's up with your joint? Or I wanna throw my own. Okay, also, I'm gonna make sure you make some money. You're not gonna just come over here and be broke. You know what I'm saying? We will be talking about success. I have a, um, I have a Russian business partner right now who has taught me a lot about chat GPT. And um, I'm reminding, if you've got value for today or in the future, you wanna show some love to owe you some, please go over to the donations page at the Cosmic Jedi and drop it like it's hot. All right. I'm dropping that in the chat on YouTube. But I do want to say that um, what I'm over here discovering in um, in this AI world is AI is the first and last letter in Anunnaki. And we the children of Anunnaki. All right. If this one over your head, it's OK. Start studying the Enuma Elish. Y'all was mad about Malachi Z. York, but you are children of Mother Ninty. Okay? So please, please, please um, stay um, up on your AI game. I do have um, an AI tool that I'm going to uh, have. That's another thing. Let me just go ahead and bless everybody. If you do have ChatGPT 4.0, I would like for you to um, practice with my um, my cosmic concierge. So I built a personal GPT, and I would like for you to practice. Really, everybody that gave a donation, I'm sending this to you. But you have to have 4.0 to use it. 
And this is a bad, bad, bad boy. I'm gonna just show you like a little bit on the inside. Um, I have uploaded some specific things to make it feel like you got OE Sun in your pocket. So you can make a GPT and on the inside, I have the Hustlers 10 Commandments, um, my personal code book, brand your swag, my genius report, the Chinese energy cycles, the dragon energy cycle of 2024, expert secrets and dot com secrets, the 12 signs, 64 gates, 384 lines. I also have um, information about creating your own Midas market. I also have, um, if you want to ask information about relationships, if you want to ask, um, where's my other joint at? Uh, I got another one in here that, um, this one, not, no, 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 no. One, one, I got another one, but it's just like having OE in your pocket, right? And I have a, if you've ever heard of the 64 Material Ways, the new book for the um, Maya Mechanics, how do you make money using the, um, how do you make money using the human design as far as a marketing tool? I have that inside there also. So you can just come in and say, I'm a photographer living in Cleveland and my design Mars is in gate 25.3. Give me three branding suggestions and watch it run off. I mean, like, I may have to do a whole nother call just to introduce you into this AI world. Big shout out to my man, Sasha. Um, I'm about to go teach a class today. Um, y'all wanna see what it is? Y'all wanna see what it is right quick? Let me show y'all what it is. I got to get ready to get up out of here. I've been doing so much. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Switch to this tab. Okay, okay. So I'm also a member. Y'all getting all the, all the tea today. When I came over here last year, I became a member of Club Dow Universe. So Club Dow Universe is um, an, a new, an ecosystem, right? So if you go to Club, oh no, Dow Universe, DowUniverse.club. Last year, I was the only black person here too. It was a hundred people from around the world. There was some damn geniuses in that boy, right? And so if you would like get some more information on what a DAO is and what Club DAO is, I'm a member of Club DAO, but today I am teaching Stellar Alchemy, the future of designing the ultimate dream team 8.0. This joint about to be bananas. So I even made this image inside of my GPT. I gave it the information about what I wanted to do. And if you know anything about the business model canvas, that class is gonna be taught before mine. And then um, we just about to get it popping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring that and your latest and greatest project over a Sifu, Sifu OE leads you into the future where innovative team building meets quantum designing and participants using the celestial arts, given at birth to concoct the perfect team recipe. This one is more than just a mere masterclass on winning a pitch battle or impressing VCs. It's a high energy collision of human potential and cosmic intelligence, utilizing human design, astrology, gene keys, and Tai Chi to create teams with a quantum leap advantage. Dr. Denise, pay attention. Anybody that's got a team that you lead, you need this. With the business model canvas as your crucible, discover the magic of aligning stars and skills for any and every groundbreaking project or pitch. Learn to navigate the multidimensional spaces of collaboration, crafting teams that are not just effective, but evolutionary. This one guarantees long-term corporate culture harmony, as well as VCs watering at the mouth to get a piece. It's at the park, campus level three, and then information about me that y'all already know about. If you want to get a consultation for your team or individually, all you got to do is click on that or that, which y'all already know. If you're on the site, you can just go back up, click at the beginning, go back to the home page, and then scroll down and chat out. If you have an issue and you need to make payments for the transformation consultation, you can just hit this 
And then when you make the next payment, then we go ahead and book. Some people, if you give me the first payment, I go ahead and do the session because I know you honorable and you're going to pay me the rest of it later. All right. Um, also, like I said, the I Ching Masterclass will be uh, taught sometime in April, maybe two or three weeks from now, but I got to get it done before May. This is going to be a banger. Learn how to do spiritual MRIs. Learn how to do spiritual MRIs. If you got any questions, all you got to do is hit that button right there and send it to me, or you can hit me in my DM. If all hearts are all hearts and minds are clear, I am too. Um, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I am into mind reading. Um, thank you all for coming. You are your ancestors' wildest dreams. It is so hot in Bali. For those of you who still getting cold weather, I'm sorry. For those of you who was cold in December and all that, you should have slid over here. The rainy season ain't what you're thinking about. Dr. Madeline, go on and get your ticket and quit playing. You know what I'm saying? For the, if you know some solo travelers that want to slide over here for like 30 days and you just want me to just tell you like what's some good places for you to stay and you don't even want to come to do a sanctuary or whatever, you just want to come over to Bali and just relax, then just hit me up too and I'll like I'll put you in the game. Make sure you're in safe areas, stuff like that. Make sure you got a driver, all of that stuff like that. All right. On a scale of one to ten in the chat, please drop the numbers of was this useful for you? Low numbers mean, nah, nigga, don't do this again. And high numbers is, yes, yes, yes. Big shouts out to my uh, Business by Design squad up in here. You know, y'all definitely supposed to be doing it, period. You get at me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, you had your hand raised. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the 6th, they have something in Michigan called Hash Bash. And it's like thousands of people come out, and I was planning on going to that, but that's not a good idea. On a, it's on the sixth. Yeah, I wouldn't even be messing around too close. I mean, it's up to you, but follow your heart is what Dr. Gibson would always tell me. But if you ain't feeling it already, plus what you gonna get out of it? Always think about your ROI. What are you gonna get out of going to something like that? Is that your tribe? Is that in your? Um, is that in your? in your customer canvas are they out there you know or are they just out there doing something so be careful good question to think about um and then thank you for that um other question is you mentioned the <clears throat> the healers training that you're gonna have in bali is that this year oh 100 percent 100 percent i'd like to do that maybe in september or november just give everybody time to pay for that Cause that's gonna be like, that's gonna be like six bands, six or seven bands. Cause we're gonna be out here for fourteen days, and I'm doing everything red carpet. I ain't, I ain't cutting no, I ain't got no discount, nothing. I ain't got discount, nothing. I want you to come over here, experience the highest. And if you already a healer dealing with herbs or Reiki or cannabis or you know about the cannabinoid system or mushrooms or whatever. Not only are you going to come over and get trained by this lady, but she is also the plug for the herbs that she's going to train you in. So you're going to take herbs back from Bali that you can't get nowhere but Bali back to the States. And then when you run out, you just hit her and say, send me some more. So it ain't just coming over here and getting your healing. You're getting your healing. You're getting the plug. You're getting the herbs. And then you're keeping the plug. And then... I want everybody that comes to the healers retreat to schedule a healers retreat for your peoples in 2025. So really, so really now it's going to cost, it costs you nothing. Well, you're going to need to put in the plans for that. I'm definitely interested in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's gonna but September is right around the corner. I got to put my payment now. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Um, that sounds real dope. The I Ching, the I Ching Divination Masterclass. Gotta tell them, gotta, gotta tell the queen. Okay. So the I Ching Divination Masterclass is using the I Ching coins to also read your human design and bring the Qigong of your gene keys into your so so let me go over here one more time 
foot behind and just give you a sample of what I mean. Okay? Let's hope that they're running late because I'm, I'm going to the class at 1030. I don't teach until 2, but I, I got to go to that 1030 class. Okay, so start off here. Go to my body graph or genetic matrix, right? So you go to my body graph and you pull up a chart, right? I just go to the library and uh, Aaron. I'm gonna just pull up. I'm just pull up my man Aaron, my new business partner. So when you go and click on this, when you normally you see a chart that looks like this, right? And then you come and you these are gates, stuff like that. These are gates. Anything that has a line, these are gates. Undefined centers, defined centers. If you're in my inner magic class, you already know that. But when you click on this, you see the rave mandala, don't you? And you see gate 44 is a hexagram. Hmm. So when I click on it, I want to know, like, yo, what is this? It's the gate of alertness, right? So then I come over here and I say hexagram 44. I go to images and I see this is this is heaven over wind. All right. This one is a bit better. Heaven over wind. So if heaven over wind, there's a qigong to bring energy directly into this 44th gate, which is right here. All right? So what this gate is about alertness. So let's say you're not alert and you need to bring more energy into that gate or your leadership is weak and you have gate 45, the gate of the gatherer, but this is also the gate of the king, right? So how do we take gate 45 and pull energy into it? I'm gonna teach that on the second day. So the first day I'm gonna show you how to use the I Ching coins. I'm going to show you how to use the I Ching coins to read any situation, any situation. I don't care what it is. I'm going to give you my toolbox. Boy, my students love when I do this. They love when I go digging in my bag like this. They be like, send it right now. I'll be like, nah, I'm not sending it right now. Stop playing. Um. The I Ching worksheet. So you will get the, my I Ching worksheet. Where is it at? I just. You will get my I Ching worksheet. Right? And at the end of the worksheet is the questions that you go and ask. Like, what are some of the sample questions? What is my proper conduct with this person? What spiritual forces are motivating the conduct of Dr. V towards me at this time? Comments on what spiritual forces are governing the relationship between uh, Dr. Madeline and Jojo Brown? Ventures, what spiritual forces are governing the success of me doing a spiritual sanctuary in Bali in December of 2024. Past situations, comments on what spiritual forces were governing blank blank situation that just happened. Travel, comments on spiritual forces governing this trip to go down to Miami to celebrate with the Tamarians and Dr. V. Comments on buying this item from this person. Like you can do so much with the I Ching, right? And so this is gonna be on day one. I'm gonna show you how to do the readings. And then the second day, I'm gonna show you how to apply it to the, um, back over here, into your chart. And I'm going to show you where, um, because you also have your money gates. You got your money gates in your in your gene keys. So the second date will be more. Um, the second date will be a little more around 
physical physicality. How do you bring energy into a certain part of your body that is healing? Okay, so a lot of people don't know, or they'll just pick one, like gene keys versus human design, but they come from one another. So um, I would absolutely suggest that you go ahead and pay the hundred dollars for the year membership for uh, Genetic Matrix. If you're just trying to get real serious about this, if you're doing any type of consultations, you need to have Genetic Matrix because it gives you gene keys, it gives you astrology readings, uh, it gives you the human design. But for instance, 50 is my 50 is my pearl. And that's where the money is at. So let's say my, my money running low. I need to know what is the hexagram for hexagram 50, right? So I'm going to show you how, where your money is at in your gene keys and how to pull it down. So it's, mine is fire over wind. Fire over wind. What does that mean? What you going to do with it? I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know why they say wood, but I say wind. The cauldron, fire over wind. And then I'm going to show you the hand postures. So this is fire and this is wind. Okay. So let me just stand up on my feet real quick. So this is fire. This is the fire palm for Qigong. And this is wind, the number four, and you hold it out to the side. So in Bagua, which is a martial art, this is fire over wind, or you can hold it on the other side. So once you know the eight basic postures, heaven, earth, water, fire, wind, thunder, mountain, lake, then you put them together to create your own alchemy in your body. I know, I know, I'm sitting on some stuff. I just juggled, didn't even know I had all that. But yeah, I've been practicing that for 20 years. But I ain't, I just put it together with the I Ching and the and the um and the Human Design last year, maybe around October. Crazy. You y'all keep saying, oh, oh, you look so different. You look so different. It's because of this practice I'm doing, this new practice I'm doing. Yes. And I've talked to lots of people in the human design community, and they've never seen it before. Like, nobody in the I Ching community is even looking to put it into the human design and plus bring it down into your body. So that's why it's a two-day class, because I can't, I can't do uh, both. Yeah, so Kelly Lynn Prime, I expect to see you signing up soon. Just go ahead and sign up. You know you're coming. It's going to be on a Saturday or Sunday. And um, we're in the building. I don't know what the dates is yet. It's either going to be the second or third weekend. So it won't be this weekend. So it'll be either be next weekend or the weekend after that. Could it be the last weekend in April? Could be, but it's definitely going to be done before. And it will be on a Saturday. This class is the I Ching class. The link is on the website. So as soon as you go to OE Sons, just go to the Cosmic Jedi and you'll be right in the building, all right? Um, anybody that's got last questions, last questions, last questions, so I can go get over here and get busy. Please don't forget your donations. Don't forget your donation. Drop your boys some coin. Give me a pineapple juice. Buy me lunch today, something. A servant is worthy of his hire. You gotta give to receive. Really put my in. Say that again. I put my in, I put my in. Yay. Thank you for your dollars. Yes, I want to do more donation-based stuff. I'm also, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm also going to create a Telegram. That one is going to be a donation-based just to get in. I don't care if it's $150, $10, $5. If you give a donation, I'm starting this Telegram group um, where we can all like be in one place together. Everybody who's ready to rock with OU. You taking any of my classes? Come on, get in this Telegram group. Do some networking and. Um, because that's going to help me centralize finding these 20 people that want to come. So here, I want 20 people to come this year and bring 8 to 10 people. So if 20 people bring 10 people, that's 200 people. If you're bringing thought leaders, entre spiritual entrepreneurs, people making a big impact, healers, forex traders, doctors, lawyers, 
researchers, whatever, and they have followings, now we got 200 people that's affecting 1,000 people. So if 200 people can affect 1,000 people, we just affected 200,000 people. Instead of trying to say, I'm having a sanctuary every month. No, nah, I want you to have a sanctuary every month. I'm good. I'm good. So reach out, sleep on it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, we about to end in prayer. I found you in peace and I'm going to end it. Okay, Kelly Lynn says, not the last weekend. Yeah, if you sign up, then you can, then you, then you can, I'm gonna ask the people who signed up, like which one is the best? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna just do it and you can't come. So if you sign up, you gotta say so. If you don't sign up, you ain't got no say so. And I need five people at least to teach the class. All right, nice big inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. And the call, get your lock your men call. To Tia Tesserah, Kabel Renad, I'm Chai Sagvanu, to Harunu Nara. Now I get bored to share your kadekum, cover by Shamu. Barkum Tarum, Rakame, to Zika take her to meet Gamma. The scene for Dosh, Barra the Tufka, Nahel Lada Take. Keep your hail on Chapanins or Craig for Tufka Take. Shabbatan new for Bell, Lushma, to Zakta new, your day at Alamo. Roshem, Kobomakuto, Alami Vaye. Please, please share this replay with your friends, five of them. You know, warn some folks about keeping their asses inside. Um, the replay, um, I'm going to send it out in an email later on. So when you wake up tomorrow, it'll be my nighttime. Or you can just go over to YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, and it's sitting over there right now. Wow, this was fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to holler. Peace. Bye. Have a good one. Peace. Bye, everyone. Peace, peace, peace. peace. Thank you again, Laura and Absolutely. Coach. Absolutely. Oh, they got go the little ones, the little Jedis. What up, Jedi? <laughs> Team Jedi's in the building. Peace, peace. Peace. Bye. 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 Bye.